Hi YouTube, this is my van life and the weather, I'm happy to say, has finally cooled down enough that I can start doing some projects without a heat stroke. So the first project that I'm doing <clears throat> is screens for my windows so that I can have fresh air and a breeze without the bugs. Now when I'm inside of here, of course, I'll have this door shut. So all that's going to be open is the two front windows. And what I'm using is simply some pretty heavy duty magnets that I got off of Amazon. There are these square things. So I'm going to show you what I did in order to make this. So I bought a large, uh, fairly large, roll of screen. And what I do is put the screen pretty much where I want it once it's cut out with magnets so that I can see where I'm at. And then I'll just simply make my cut where I know I want it to go down. And then I come over here and do the same thing with the length. And I'll cut, cut that. And that way I know where exactly I want to start going across and where I want to start going down. And then I just go across and down and it's that simple. windows right here so I want to make sure that everything's covered. Uh, I thought it went a little bit longer on that but that'll work. And you know I'll fill it in with magnets as needed. Or I'll put just some cheap scotch tape if it's just, you know, for a night or two. But that keeps all the bugs out and I definitely need more magnets here.
Oh, that's not very magnetic right there. Wow. So I would probably want to take that and this. I don't know if you could see that. Yeah, you can see it. Okay. So that's that's how I do my screens. And I've got enough screen for heck, I could probably do a whole a whole uh, door with what I've got left. But anyway, that's that's uh, project uh, number two, I think, that I've done for you so far. Hope that everyone's doing well out there. Have a great day. I wanted to share my country style pork ribs that I cooked in a pressure cooker with you guys. I simply just used a little bit of salt because I used soy sauce as well. So soy sauce, a little bit of brown sugar, like about a tablespoon, a little bit of salt, black pepper, fresh cracked black pepper, tons of garlic, and that's about it. Simple, simple. But I want you to see how tender. Oh, look at that. Mm. I am here to tell you. These ribs were on sale. I haven't had country style pork ribs in a minute. They were on sale for, I think, a dollar <clears throat> ninety nine a pound. Not bad. Hey, YouTube. I just got back from a interview. It looks like I might be going back to cooking full time. The great thing about this job is that it's only three days a week. It's 12 hours. Well, it's actually 13 hours a day and uh, three days a week. So that cuts, you know, less commute. That's that's always good. Four days off every week and about 40, 39 hours <clears throat> a week. So I'm pretty happy about that. And I'm, I can officially say that I'm making more than I've ever made in my life. <laughs> course everything costs more than it's ever been in my life too so there's that anyway I'm not sure if I have showed you guys my bike I think I did come to think of it once but this is my e-bike I bought it back when they were first coming out first getting popular with the van lifers on YouTube a couple of years ago it's electric it's a 500 watt electric motor. Um, it has the ability to supposedly to go, I think it's 60 miles and it goes 28 miles per hour, but I can't maintain that speed because it's just too fast for, for me to pedal for very long. Excuse me. <clears throat> I wish I had waited because the ones they've got now have a bigger battery span capacity. The motors are bigger. And they're about the same price. And they're more comfortable because they've got shocks in the front. And But oh well. That's the way it goes, you know. This thing is great, though. It works fantastic. Um, it'll come in handy for commutes when I don't have a car or don't want to drive a car for whatever reason. Mainly I bought it for the exercise. But that's my little electric bike. I use pedal assist mostly. It goes... I'm not sure if that's going to show up. I've got 108 miles on it so far. It goes all the way up to 5. And when it's in 5 and you start pedaling, this thing really takes off. It'll go, like I said, it, I have gotten it up to 25 before, or 28 before. And honestly, 
I don't really like going that fast on a bicycle. It's just a little too fast for me. 20 is fast enough, and the battery by itself will go 20 miles an hour. I don't even have to pedal to go 20 miles per hour, which is pretty cool.